Fight fans, what's good? Real Talk Boxing, we back at you again. My boy Jakey Poo, man. Jake, Jake is... He's getting a little too too big for his britches, man. He's he's he needs to um take a step back and and chill, champ, chill. All right. Uh Nate Diaz reached out to Logan Paul and told Logan to, yo, you need to check your brother before somebody else does. You know, Jake recently, you know, made that video. Um, offering, offering Connor the fifty mil, but I mean that was some that was some things that he said in that video that were pretty disrespectful, and um, I think that's it, it rubbed Nate Diaz the wrong way, and uh, so he reached out not to Jake but to his brother saying you need to check him man because he needs to slow his roll for real, for real, and. Jake's re Jake replied, this, this was on Twitter, you saw what happened to the other Nate. You can get this smoke too. Let's talk about Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz is a bona fide warrior, man. Like an all-around warrior. And he can do it all. I don't care how old he is. He's not the type of dude that you just want to run up on because both the Diaz brothers... They walk it like they talk it, and they don't play no games. Nate Diaz don't play fighting, man. It's a way of life to him. It's how he eats. And Jake, I mean, I know. Listen, Nate Diaz is not a basketball player. He is not a YouTuber. He ain't no average Joe off the streets. And his stand-up is pretty remarkable, man. And, um... <clears throat> You barking up the wrong tree. Now, I can understand trying to get a fight with Connor. There's big money in that. And I still think Connor would get you out of there. But I think Nate Diaz would do, do you even worse. So, Jake, man, you got to, bro, chill. Pump the brakes. Like, for real. Like, there's only so far you, you should, like, be taking this before you start just running up on killers. Like, you understand? Know, Nate, Nate Diaz is a goon, man. He is a straight-up goon. And he, he's, you know, you know, when Nate fought Conor McGregor the first fight, I told the whole world, and I'm not big into MMA. Understand what I'm saying? I told the whole world that Nate Diaz was going to beat Conor McGregor that first fight. No one believed me. I had a co-worker who was such a huge fan and still is a huge fan of Conor McGregor. He said, real talk, you crazy. You you are out of your mind if you think Nate Diaz is going to be Conor McGregor. I said, listen to me, bro. It's going to happen. And there was a lot of stand-up in that fight, too. And, and Conor's known for his stand-up and his hands in, 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 in the MMA world. And he got out. I mean, he just, he, he outdid Conor. Listen, man. Jakey Poo, this isn't going to be a long video. This really isn't a video. It's a message to you, Jakey Poo. Chill, homeboy. Nate Diaz is no joke. Nate Diaz will murk you. He will murk you, bro. And I'm talking in the boxing ring. And, you know, so you got to chill, man. I understand you on cloud nine. But blood, now you, 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 you stepping into uncharted territories when you talking to these real fighters. Not YouTubers or basketball players. I'm talking about real fighters. No, I don't care if they're MMA fighters. They, they've been doing this for a long, long time. Longer than you've been boxing. Jake, you my boy. I don't agree with a lot of stuff you say and a lot of stuff you do. You're entertaining. I respect the fact that you're trying to learn how to box and you want to get better at it. But Nate Diaz, homeboy, leave that guy alone. And that's a fact. Never mind my comment. Never mind my personal opinion. What's yours? Is Jay crazy? Is he getting a little too big for his own britches? That's pants for people who ain't country. Britches. Let me know below. Comment. You hear me? Jakey Poo, please stop it. Respect all, fair none. God bless. Till the next time, Real Talk Boxing, we gone.